Welcome back to the channel guys, Thomas with TMWYT. I just unboxed the brand new wheels. You probably saw the reveal video. If you haven't, I'll leave it up at the top of the screen here. I just unboxed them and showed them off. This is the first thing you should do when buying a brand new set of wheels. This can also be applied to buying a used set of wheels or even a set of wheels that are on your car and have been for a couple of years. And I'll just cut right to the chase. Here we have a 9H Nano ceramic cup. Comes in a little bottle here. And what we're gonna be doing is before the tires are even mounted, I'm gonna ceramic coat the inside lips, the faces, the hardware, and the barrels. What the ceramic coating is gonna do is basically make the wheels water repellent and kind of add that extra layer of protection. Because as you know, the wheels get the dirtiest out of any place on the car. So I think ceramic coating your wheels is one of the best things you can do for them. So we will just get right into it. You can kind of just use any ceramic coating. I picked this one up off of Amazon and I'll leave the link to that in the description. Just follow the instructions for applying it. Uh, quite simple. Essentially this kit comes with a very nice plush microfiber towel here and this applicator pad. And essentially what you're going to do is drop some droplets of the ceramic coating on here and apply it in sections and kind of rub it in and then you'll go back and you'll buff it out with the microfiber towel and I'll show you that here in depth in a second. So make sure that whatever you're working on is clean. I'm starting with a brand new set of wheels. I am going to hit him with a microfiber towel and some alcohol just to remove any fingerprints that might have gotten on them during the unboxing. My kit comes with these little applicator towels that you're going to wrap around the sponge just depending on the kit you got and that's what you'll use so you can reuse the sponge you know however many times you're going to use your ceramic coating this is kind of just a disposable way to use the sponge so you will apply a few droplets to that you're going to wipe a thin layer across the surface first horizontally and then vertically so you're just going to evenly coat it in small sections just so you can work quickly before it dries and make sure that every section is coated perfectly and uh, before you buff it off you want to leave it on there for about one to two minutes or before it gets too sticky to wipe off it depends on the kit I'll just kind of make sure that it's not too sticky to uh, then buff off with a microfiber towel and then you do want to let your car sit without getting wet for I'd say at least 24 hours after doing this so let's get right into it let's um, apply this ceramic coating so we're first going to start off with so here is the first wheel that we're going to be working on just going to use some isopropyl alcohol on a microfiber towel here and make sure I get every fingerprints, anything off that I don't want in there when I coat this. And you see, even with a brand new wheel, there's still stuff on there. Ideally, you wanna do this off the car as you kinda of wanna cover every single surface so that the whole wheel just cleans off super easy, just rinses off, washes off, whatever you do, super easy. So now that the wheel is wiped off and clean, obviously if your wheels have been on your car, you definitely wanna do a deep clean and that's why I say that the first thing you should do when getting a new set of wheels is doing this because this is the cleanest that they're ever going to be, you know, not having them been mounted. But essentially, we're just going to grab our our applicator pad and a couple of droplets on there. Oh wow, that smells fantastic. Definitely do this in a well-ventilated area if you are going to be doing this. So we are going to start here on the lip and we're kind of just going to work in sections here. Now that you've got all the wheels ceramic coated, if they were brand new wheels, you can go get the tires mounted. Just make sure not to wash them after 24 hours. Uh, you gotta make sure that uh, the ceramic coating has time to cure. We'll just flash forward 24 hours here and see how well our ceramic coating job worked. Okay, now that you've let the ceramic coating cure on your wheels, we can now wash them. And so we're just gonna test out the work that we did. So now we're just gonna test out the ceramic coating and see how it does. All right, so we've got the wheels here and uh, they're pretty dirty. They got mounted and then I put them on the car and I just haven't washed the car since. We'll just take a look at how well the ceramic coating repels the water and then we'll give them a good wash and see how well they're clean after putting the ceramic coating on and after them being on the car for about a week. So let's just take a look first at how well it repels water. So we got a cup of water here and you can see, you can see as soon as I pour it on the lips, it just runs right off. 
It's obviously pooling down here. The lips are so deep that it kind of makes a little pool down at the bottom if you pour water in here. But I mean, it doesn't change the fact that how well this ceramic coating worked. You know, you just see it, it just runs right off, which is awesome. You can really see it the best over here on the lips. Which is awesome and it just runs right off. So now we're gonna test the face. So we'll just kind of you can see how quickly that runs off, which is awesome. But so that kind of gives you an idea of the um, kind of I think it's hydrophobic properties of it, or that water repellent kind of feel. But if you just get it out of the pool down here, if you don't have deep dish wheels like me, then this won't be a problem. But let me, let me do a time lapse of me cleaning up the wheels and uh, we'll see how well we can get them clean after sitting in the garage for a couple days collecting dust and grime and driving around. So uh, yeah, let's do it. As you can see, after just a simple little quick wash that maybe took me five minutes to do, they are squeaky clean, look brand new again. I think the ceramic coating worked awesome. I wish I would have taken a little bit more time to apply it because I noticed kind of the, the spots down here by the, the hardware. It doesn't have as much of that um, hydrophobic properties as say the easier spots to get were like the edge of my lips. Um, so I wish I would have taken more time and really kind of like gotten the ceramic coating all the way back in there. So just make sure you take your time. I would spend a lot more time doing the ceramic coating process itself. I was doing it right before the wheel place closed that was going to mount up my tires the day that I got my wheels. And so I was rushing. I probably did them in 30 minutes and I probably should have taken 30 minutes per wheel to apply it. So I think if you take the time to apply it, it's a really, really great product. Any sort of ceramic coating, again, so I used this ceramic coating from Amazon called the Hokasi. I don't know, just some kind of no-name brand. I just wanted to try out ceramic coating. I just thought I'd give it a shot, and so I went with a cheaper route on Amazon. Um, I'll link this down in the description. This cost me 29 bucks. You know, I know there's ceramic coatings out there that are like 100, 150, and you can get professional jobs, you know, way more than that. I mean, it has pretty much the same standard stuff that everyone else on the market has. I mean, it has kind of a shorter time, uh, 12 months of protection. So next year, I'll probably, when I pull the wheels off and give them a good deep clean, I'll uh, reapply it every 12 months. But you can get ones that you know last two to three years. Um, but from what I've seen here, just um, on the parts that I got it really well applied, like on the edge of the lips, you can see the water just like bead right off and run right off, which is gonna be sweet because when I, the wheels get coated in brake dust, it'll get coated on top of the ceramic coating. So I can just come in with my power sprayer and just spray it all off. And um, if I'm in a, you know, if I'm just trying to rinse my car off in the middle of the week and not do a full car wash after work, um, I can just spray the car off and then dry it up and it'll be good to go. I won't have to do a full deep clean. So I'll make sure to link this one down in the description, but you can kind of use any ceramic coating that you want. I'm also gonna apply this to the rest of my car because I barely used any of it on all four of my wheels. I'd, I'd highly recommend this one. I'd, I had great, you know, I've never used another ceramic coating, but I had a good experience with this one. You know, I was skeptical because it was $29 off Amazon, but I mean, it worked. I The only thing I would have done differently, as I explained, was I would have taken more time to apply the ceramic coating to the wheels. But other than that, super great product. Uh, 29 bucks is a steal for ceramic coating and you can use it on your windows, your car, anything you want, you know? All right, but like I said in my previous videos, I just wanna make sure I go over everything that I do to the cars, in including, you know, cleaning measures or preventative measures like this, the ceramic coating. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys if you haven't thought to put ceramic coating on your wheels, especially, you know, if you've been turned away from ceramic coating because it's $150 a bottle, this one that I'm gonna link down in the description from Amazon is pretty great for the money. 29 bucks, give it a shot, see if you like it. Highly recommend using it on your wheels. Definitely gonna use it on all my windows and my car, just make the whole thing that uh, water resistant. Uh, I think it's hydrophobic properties 
where the water just kind of beads and runs off really easy. I think it'll make cleaning the car awesome. Um, and if anything changes, I'll make sure to update you guys on my channel. Like if this doesn't do anything at all or ruins my wheels, I'll make sure to let you guys know. But from my experience here, I've had it on for about two weeks now and this is the first wash that I did. I think it got the wheels super clean and it only took me five minutes to do it. So I think this will be a great product. But again, just a quick video for you guys just explaining what I'm doing to the car. Um, this is, I highly recommend doing this to your wheels. Wheels get probably the dirtiest part of the car besides the tires. Um, so I highly recommend just throwing some ceramic coating on it. You know, just helping yourself out in the long run when you're sitting on your hands and knees, scrubbing your wheels, you'll be thanking yourself when you got ceramic coating on there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, but that is all for today, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.